All new tonight at 5, the head of the CDC declared racism a public health threat. So have state legislatures and doctors groups and even closer to home, the Memphis City Council and the Shelby County Commission. But not state lawmakers in Nashville. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DePrizio on why a resolution is being pushed aside. Tennessee State Representative Antonio Parkinson says lawmakers sending his resolution to a summer study session is essentially killing his bill. He doesn't understand why lawmakers are having such an issue with it. When you show the correlation between who's dying in numbers in this pandemic, it's, there's the evidence of racism affecting health care. State Representative Antonio Parkinson says COVID-19 has lifted the veil on health care disparities for people of color. Long-standing systemic issues have put minority groups at an increased risk from getting sick and dying from COVID-19, which is why Parkinson proposed a bill declaring racism a public health threat. It's our moral duty to ensure that all Tennesseans are, are treated uh, equally, uh, and there's equity in how we deliver health care. Seemed simple enough, said Parkinson, but to his surprise, getting it past Republican lawmakers wasn't so simple. I acknowledge that is, there is prejudice and racism in, in American society. It has been in the past. But today, we live in the best times ever from that point of view. We've had uh, African-American uh, president the highest office in the land, and we have made tremendous strides in civil rights. Tennessee Representative Sabi Kumar spoke against it during this committee meeting. The Republican doctor from Middle Tennessee told lawmakers while he believes there are disparities in health care, he disagreed that racism in health care exists. Your resolution says that there is systemic bias in, and racism in health care. I have worked in this country in healthcare for 50 years, and that is not my experience. It is a threat to public health, and whether you want to acknowledge it or not, whether you want to discuss it or not, racism is a threat to public health. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.